Really, IoT is absolutely not about technology. It's about the, the value that you can bring to businesses and consumers. We're here at Mobile World Congress, Americas in Los Angeles. I'm here with Mark Pegalou from Semtech. Mark, how are you? I'm very good. I'm very glad to be here and to have an opportunity to speak about LoRa with you. What is LoRa technology? All right, so LoRa first is, we call it kind of the DNA of IoT. So D for devices, N for network, and A for applications, because this is really the core of what we are doing. We are here to enable all those layers that make the IoT. But in nature, LoRa is really a wireless connectivity. So we are, with LoRa, enabling the connectivity of sensors, tag, actuators to be connected directly to the cloud, where you have applications being developed using the data and then providing business values to, uh, to the consumers. So this is low power uh, connectivity between devices and those devices connect to the cloud. All right, these are one of the key characteristics of LoRa. It's indeed the low power and the long range. Well, LoRa stands for long range, but really the low power that is what it makes it unique. Everything that is fueling all the data analytics machines, and you know, that's the big buzz right now. All the, I would say, the apps developers are now working on IoT. They need data. They need to extract the, really the value to make sense for the businesses, for the consumers. And then, of, of course, LoRa is a two-way connectivity. So, which means that you can feed back some information to do some control on the device. And um, what is uh, LoRaWAN? That's another sort of uh, aspect yeah. of all this connectivity. So, indeed, LoRaWAN is a very important piece because LoRa, we spoke about the technology and the connectivity, but LoRaWAN is very important because this is an open protocol. You need such open protocol for any IoT solutions. So by open protocol, it means you have definitions and the way how the devices are talking to each other between the sensors up to, to the cloud, network servers, and all of that. It ensures some interoperability. So LoRaWAN has been uh, created and is drive, driven by the LoRa Alliance, which is an alliance now gathering more than 500 members worldwide with very, very big names covering all the layers of IoT. It comes from chip suppliers like Semtech. We have module makers. We have base stations, gateway manufacturers. We have network server providers. We have application providers, solution, end-to-end -end solution providers. And among the companies we are actually part of the LoRa Alliance, we have companies like Comcast here in the US providing the connectivity. We have, uh, in China, we have Alibaba, who joined the LoRa Alliance very recently and is making a big, big push uh, in, uh, in, uh, in China. We have Orange as a mobile network operator in Europe, who has been one of the early adopters of LoRa and really uh, now developing a very strong business uh, across Europe. What's um, Semtech's uh, position in all of this? Like, where does Semtech fit in? Maybe you could tell us a little bit about the company and how how uh, it, it, it uh, not only supports this ecosystem but also partners with uh, with all of these companies. Right. So Semtech background is uh, I mean a company that has been in business in the semiconductor business for a long time, 60 years, and um, we have been doing wireless connectivity for more than 20 years. Uh, we quickly realized that there was really a gap in terms of technology with our existing customers. And most of our customers were in the field of metering, energy meter, and security. And one of the biggest, biggest uh, issues that they faced was indeed the cost of the infrastructure. So business couldn't scale very much. It was uh, very expensive. So by, with LoRa, we completely solved the cost of the infrastructure. So Semtech, the role of Semtech here has to be to develop the LoRa technology and to make that happen, to offer this connectivity technology as an enabler to the IoT solutions. So we provide the chips, the technology, we license also the technology to other manufacturers, and we are really helping the whole layers of the ecosystem to, to adopt the technology and make the connectivity as simple as possible. But where is the, uh, the future of LoRa? Where, where is this technology going next? So today we are addressing pretty well uh, the sensors connectivity. Uh, we are also now going to work to, to our higher data right away as well with LoRa to, to expand the reach of the type of uh, device we can connect. 
Oui, mais très important maintenant pour Laura est de continuer dans cette abstraction et cette simplification pour donner accès à la IoT connectivité à la masse marché. So we are working with a lot of companies actually to, the, to have development kits which makes uh, the connectivity a no-brainer. Nobody will know what kind of connectivity is underneath mm -hmm. and they will focus on, on the application. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time with us today and for uh, talking to us about Laura and about Semtech. Well, thank you very much. I mean, Laura is very passionate for me, so I was really glad to have the opportunity to speak with you.